So this is the Red Paws RO10 and I've put an FBV camera into it. Uh, I've turned the canopy round, it was the other way around. There's the solder joint in there. And it's just all tucked into the top. The canopy it comes with, it's got enough room to put it all into. I got this for my daughter and she smashed it into the ceiling loads of times and the canopy's held up. It's pretty good to be fair. On this one I've put a, a connector. This is the original sort of thing that I used to do. Like you can see there's a little camera in there and I've made the canopy, which is basically an Eosheen EO10, but this frame is solid, whereas this one's it's got a lot more give and flex and the whole frame is flexible as opposed to this one's quite stiff in comparison, but this flies really well. Um, there's no props in shot with this camera. Um, and so if we now turn our controller on. Here's a set of Eosheen goggles. These are the cheapest Eosheen goggles you can get. Um, they've got a USB charger and antennas. It's gonna give you a better signal. They do work really well with the linear antennas because these are linear antennas as well. So here's the view from the goggles. I'm gonna try and show you a bit, bit of the flight footage and show you what it's like to actually fly this through the goggles. So I'm gonna switch it on, make sure the throttle's at the bottom. Shouldn't leave it at the top. You should always leave it at the bottom because then you don't get a runaway drone. And so as we fly around my little tiny flat. It's just gonna... The break up on these goggles is pretty manageable. It's actually better than the reception I was getting in my box goggles that I'm wearing, which are EV800Ds, which are a, they're a sort of 60 to 70 pounds if you can find them on Banggood uh, or AliExpress for that sort of money whereas the VR 009s are a lot smaller but they're they've got no DVR so you can't record the flight footage or um, there's no diversity it's got two aerials but it doesn't have diversity but the pickup off of this little drone was pretty remarkable. I was quite surprised at how good the signal was when I watched the footage back. Um, obviously I'm voicing this over so it's it's a, a sort of review of the flight rather than um, me just commenting as I'm flying. And this is you know this is a really good way to get into whoops and and flying around your house is is the fastest sort of way to get into flying fpv without any restrictions because obviously in the uk there's a lot of restrictions on how to fly and where to fly you have to register now um and it just means that you can get into it before you do all the stuff that you 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 might consider doing to get into flying drones in an FPV way as opposed to kind of GPS photography drones which you'd have to register with anyway um, most of the time I mean this is a different this is more the skill of, of flying as opposed to taking a picture you know the camera's not that great um, 
but the experience is, is something that's quite difficult to achieve it, for, for less money, really. I mean, it's absolutely, you know, it's a great little drone. I'd like to try it, try and see if I can bind it with a an iRange i6 adapter, which goes into the FlySky i6X controller. Um, I think that would be a way of getting more precision on the on the controller. Whereas with the little controller, you've, you've you'll you'll learn to fly it, but it'll always be limited by its capability on you, you know your inputs are going to be the, the most important thing that you put into a drone so if the controller is not very accurate then it's quite difficult to be massively accurate as you can see I you know you can fly it quite fast and do some little bunny hops and you know it's, it's a good it's a good fun drone to fly if you if you want to get into the sport or the hobby as as it, you know it's it's kind of there's not much cheaper out there and there's not mu not many other ways of, of getting into it you can you can do sim uh, simulated uh, drone flying on your laptop but you need to get a controller to do it and you need to have the software have a computer capable of running the software and you know I'm not saying that um, you might not have that but flying on a computer is a bit different to flying in the real world so all in all pretty good little drone although the props aren't in shot uh, with this little camera um, if you compare it to the size of a, of a normal camera it's absolutely tiny. Um, I'm thinking about using one of these cameras to put onto these lightweight modular uh, brushless motors, whereas this is brushed. Um, these are a bit of a different thing. So all in all, flying this setup is pretty good. There's a lot of people that have um, made a lot of videos like Nick Burns and Albert Kim uh, they're really great uh, they give you a lot of information um, I'm just trying to show you the cheapest way to get into FPV peace